It's just a terrible positioning for them. They don't really want to fight outside of the creep wave. Oh, Rocket Flare will scout Nico out on the higher ground. Zai could go for a hook shot, but he's jug illusions, causing him some problems. Gets past him. There's a frost blast charge to the low ground. Nikwa goes in on Puppy. Assassinate is there now. Oh, Chain Frost gonna go through. Bounces back to Nikwa. Oh dear, and the hook shot's still available. Zai may look to go back in and hit Loader with this one, but on the sidelines, it's S4. We're going to bring down Pycat. Kuro again on the front lines. Loader gets an Omni Slash, but it doesn't bounce. It catches just one. The hook shot now there as well. Loader going to be on the run. Mask of Madness as well as Mantis style gets him out of the silence. That's a Mask of Madness soon, but a couple of raises going to bring him down. That's a team wipe. S4 gets a triple kill and could see like a BKB or something come from him, although not necessarily a BKB game against all this physical damage. Sai gripped up at bottom. Here comes his teammates though. They're going to be able to protect him soon. He just needs to get out and stay alive. Nether Strike is there. Zai gets the all the Yule Scepter coming from the Shadow Fiend. Requiem to follow. Four stuff out. Zai still alive for now. The cast. Death Ward. Zai is he going to see kept alive almost with the hook shot. Four dead though. Loader the only one left standing. Alliance in all sorts of trouble. This has to be GG. So yeah, they are just masochist if they stay in this game. There's nothing to be gained here. The Shadow Fiend, the Sniper, both so tanky. Both going for the Scotty build. The four oh. heroes committing on a clockwork. Couldn't even get the kill on they that. They almost... Or barely got the yeah, kill. Yeah, barely got the kill. When he, he hookshotted there and cancelled the death ward, I actually thought it was going to live for a second, but... Team Alliance get...